The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. Sends it sailing downfield. And this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Jaguars' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks. But the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. Well, the defensive line has to do a better job there of feeling that screen out. And a lot, a lot of times the offensive line will dictate whether or not it's going to be a screen pass or not. And they feel and sense the offensive lineman releasing out to get out in front of the screen and to be able to try to make a play downfield. Again, the defensive line is the key for any defense and being able to slow down the screen pass. From their own 38-yard line, second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. And he picked up almost four on that halfback delay. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. And this one is a beauty. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Tackled after a decent pickup. The middle for a nice game. That's a game of four. That'll make it third and one. Mike 50, Mike 50. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Green 15. Caught by the sophomore, and he's taken down around the 36 yard line. Tackle at the 46. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. Quick strike to the receiver. They'll bring him down at the 46 yard line. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Gets to about the 47-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That'll make it third, third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Larry, Larry, Larry! Hey, Mike's 50, Mike's 50! Watch the go! One, two, go! Three! Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back, and he's tackled around the 47-yard line. No gain on the play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. Got it, and brought down immediately. On the ground, inside. No game. That makes it third and three. Watch a Watch a Watch a Here we go. Brought down at the 35 yard line. Number 23 on the tackle at the 35 yard line. First down. 
Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. And he hits him hard at the 44-yard line. Number 22 makes the tackle at the 44-yard line. That brings up second and one. I hope you brought your left Ready. Ready. Green and Green! Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? He really got a hold of that one. From the 15, he's taken down at the 22-yard line. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. So the old draw play gets him a good seven yards. And now he's got room to run. He sheds it. Complete. He's got room to work, and the ball bounces out of bounds. From the 48-yard line, first down. Okay, just like that, just like that. Hey, number 28, Mike, Mike, he's coming, he's coming. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. And a quick throw. He's out of bounds at the 24-yard line. Fires complete over the middle. Tackle made at about the 15-yard line. Scrambling around. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And that sets them up for the first and goal. That makes it first and goal. He tackles him for a loss. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. You're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. We've got second and goal. Ball on the five-yard line. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. No, four. Nice move, and he scores. So the halfback took it in for six. Simple play call there by the offensive coordinator. Just give it to the back and let him find his way into the end zone. And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 79-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Longhorns really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Gets to around the 42. Folks, that's the end of quarter number one, and we got a pretty good ball game on our hands so far. 7-0, Longhorn. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Combo, combo, combo. Ready. Green 
gets to about the 44-yard line. So the quarterback keeps it for two yards. That makes it second and eight. And it's caught. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up third and two. Mike three. Mike six. He's taken down at about the 43-yard line. Gain of six yards. First down. He goes out of bounds right around the 38 yard line. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. Combo, combo, combo. Ready, check. And down he goes around the 29 yard line. Number three with the tackle at the 29 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Let's go, D. He fights forward to about the 29. And this play is number eight on the drive. Ready. Green 88. And he's hit immediately. That's a seven-yard gain. Good recovery here by the corner to react that quickly on the throw and prevent this from becoming even a bigger game. And they make the stop at the 11. Around the two yard line. That brings up second and one. Let's go! Green nine! Green nine! Puts on a move! Touchdown! The extra point to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. It was an 11-play, 74-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. We're even at seven in this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He fights forward to about the 26. That brings up second and nine. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Number four was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it third and nine. Third down, nine to go. Ball on the 26-yard line. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's going to air it long. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. You know, as a defender, anytime you're not going to have a chance to get to the quarterback, one of the things all defensive coaches try to teach their defense is to get your hands up and try to knock the football away. And that time, that's exactly what they did to set up this fourth down. Tackle made, 36-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Let's go, let's go! Cut. 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 Steps out of bounds around the 41-yard line. That brings him second and five. And he's got his man. 
That's a great tackle at the 20-yard line. First down. to the wide out first down got it to the senior that makes it first and goal let's get off the field let's get off the field the jaguars are going to take their first time out of the half and a six yard pickup by the halfback on the delay and there's two minutes remaining in the half Up, up the middle and stuffed. Touchdown, Jaguars. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 63-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. The score now, 14-7. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Gets out to about the 28-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Well, this corner isn't the biggest guy on the field, but he made a nice tackle there. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Now he's going to run and watch out. That scramble gets them seven yards. Six-yard line. Makes the catch and look out. And he's taken down at the 47-yard line. He's on the run, runs with it, and he's got room. And he tackles him hard at the 41-yard line. The defense is having a difficult time stopping this drive. Right now, they're doing enough to be in situations they want to be in, but they have to finish the job, and the plays start to add up, so we'll have to see if this defense starts to look tired out there. Going for it all to the end zone! What a strike for the score. And he did a nice job of looking off his defenders. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. Kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's find out if the defense has made any adjustments after giving up a touchdown on that last drive. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play.
It's second and 11. Ball on the 24. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start, start offense. offense. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback down. can do damage to a drive. Now it's second and long after the penalty. He's into the open field. Makes it out to about the 33. We played a half. We're deadlocked right now at 14. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. This is Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But... You know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still still scoring points, still putting up good numbers, but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kurt. Very close game now as we start the second half. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. Now's when you start to approach each drive thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Tackled after decent pickup. He's on the run. Makes it out to about the 46. Up a screen, tailback's got it, and he shoved out of bounds at the 42. Guys, I really like what the offensive coordinator is doing here. Throwing it on first and second down will keep the defense guessing. He's going to try and scramble, and he's going to be sacked. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. From the 47-yard line, it's second down. He's at the 30. He's into the open field to the 20. And they finally make the stop at the two-yard line. He scrambled. He gets sacked on the play. That brings him second to goal. Second down and goal. Ball on the five. Three down, three down. Mike, 50, Mike, 50. Go! Touchdown, Longhorns. <laughs> and 
and he converts the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Complete. He's got room. And he hits him hard at the 37-yard line. That's a gain of 12 on the play. First down. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. A four-yard loss. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Second and 14. Ball on their own 33. Big hit. He's going to lose yardage. Two-yard loss. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. South Alabama is not going to back down from anybody, Herbie, I guess, at least not today. No, not today. They played with a chip on their shoulder. They've stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and I don't think they're finished yet. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defense alone. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made right around the 42-yard line. Texas is up by a touchdown. Thought it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. That's a loss of about three. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That brings up second and 13. Second and 13. Ball on the 39-yard line. Five wide. Looks to him again, complete. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. They'll bring him down at about the 47 yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Knocked out of bounds at the 37. field with five wide. First down, Grant. He's tackled around the 17-yard line. The 10 keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. Second and one. 
It's the ninth play of the drive. Texas is up a score. And he's tackled right away. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Gets it. He's in space. And they push him out right around the 40. And that is a great call and a big game, especially on an early down. That makes it first and 10. Mike three. Mike three. And now he's got room to run. Tackle around the 47 yard line. That's good for a game over two yards. First down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's taken down around the 45 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Gets to about the 44 yard line. About a yard there on the quarterback keeper. in the open. And he's tackled at the 39-yard line. So they're going to go for it here. And they don't get the first. Big stop by the defense. And the defense looked like they were expecting option on that play. Great job to pin him up and cause the turnover on down. This offense has really seemingly been unstoppable. Should be interesting to see now if the defense has changed things up as they try to stop these guys. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. And they make the stop around the 46-yard line. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. One to go. The Longhorns lead it by two touchdowns. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Hey, Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Let's go, heavy. Take a black five. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Here they come. Now he's flushed and they got it. There's sack number four. Well, he's being forced to make really quick decisions because he doesn't have any time to throw the ball. That's going to lead to turnover. They come out in a five wide set. Out of bounds at the 33 yard line. Good 
tackle in space. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. Kicks away, and he splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They're set to go for another round. and drag the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. So the sack makes this a second and long. Four down, four down. Zero, zero, Mike Free. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. He's tackled immediately after the catch. They're stopped for a five-yard loss. That play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They've read it from the get-go. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he's tackled at the 23-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Less than three minutes in the game. And he's taken down right around the 22-yard line. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 22. Six yard line. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. Black five, black five, orange three. Nice run to the outside. Gaining four yards. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on their own 40. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. So that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 31-14, Longhorn. 
That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.